Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator with the ice and the water dispenser on the front as the filter inside the refrigerator. And it's model number GSH25KGREWW and it recently started making a clicking sound and I researched on the internet and there's a main uh, control board or circuit board on the back of the refrigerator behind a panel and it has a bunch of relays on it and uh, looks like a couple of transistors or FETs with heat sinks and there's a couple of capacitors near one of these heat sinks that uh, they look like they're starting to bulge a little bit on the top so evidently it's a known problem with this small refrigerator so here's the panel on the back that covers the circuit board or the main control board. Let me plug the refrigerator in. Oh, click twice. Oh, there it goes. It initially clicked uh, sporadically, and I thought maybe it would, you know, well, the first thing I did was clean out the refrigerator vents and try to get all the dust uh, out. And uh, eventually just started clicking like this and uh, the refrigerator got warm. So again let's take off this panel here and take a look at the circuit board. And there's the control board. So let's take a closer look. So there are a number of electrolytic capacitors on here. You can see there are these hash marks on the top. Uh, those are so that when they do fail, if they do fail, the pressure is released out of the top here. That's my understanding. They'll uh, blow out out of the top here. These two are of concern. These here are kind of bulged on the top, and they're very close to this heat sink here. So I did feel this. This was pretty warm. And these are the two caps here that probably uh, the, their life expectancy was reduced from the constant exposure to the heat off of this heat sink. That's my theory. And the clicking sounds were one of these relays here. So let's go ahead and take all the harnesses off of this. Uh, with the memory that these cables have, I think that I could take a marker to put lines on these, uh, but I have it on video, so I should be able to figure out what goes where. So they come off pretty easily. There's one. It's also a ground wire here. Bottom harnesses. So it looks like there's four of these posts. So there's one, two, and then there's two at the top. Three and four. One more. All right, so I got the last one off. And there's the board. All right, so here are the replacement caps. Just got them in today. And you can see here they are 470 microfarad, 25 volt electrolytics by Nichikan, I think that's what that is. And I will be removing and replacing these two right here. You can see they're bulging a little bit. So let's get to that. Like I might need to add solder to remove solder. There's a lot of heat sink here. I have to heat up to get this solder to melt. Nope. Well, if I get this other side, well, there's a lot of trace on that side too.
uh, maybe some solder braid here. All right, so I got these loose now. There's one. I mean, it's not that pronounced. I mean, they, they when they do fail, they can be pretty dramatic. Uh, but you can see the bulge there, indicating that this capacitor on the left here is going bad, or has gone bad. So here's the replacement capacitor, electrolytic. You can see here, it's a negative, also has a short lead, positive long lead. So make sure I put this in, correct polarity. Sometimes there's a mark indicating the negative on the board, but I don't see anything. I already know which uh, how this goes in, so just need to solder these new ones in and hopefully that'll fix the problem. That's one. There's the second one. That's that. Two new electrolytics. So let's go plug this board in and see if that fixed the problem. Alright, let's connect this board back up. Alright, let me plug it in. Cross my fingers. Let's see if this fixes it. No clicking. Sounds like it's working. No smoking. Well, let's let it run for an hour. See if everything's working. The refrigerator's getting cold or the freezer's freezing. and Looks like it's working though. So it's been several hours. It's at temperature. It's actually uh, off for a second here because it's at temperature. It's at 36. I'm not at the coldest setting, so I can still make it go colder. But still working, going strong. So replacing those two capacitors was all it needed for now. So oh, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe, like, and or comment. Thanks for watching.